Hello. All right. I wanted to share this dream with you guys. Let's see if I can get this camera straightened out. Um, okay, so first I want to pray. So Lord Jesus, I want to honor you in the way, even as I am telling this dream, God, I want to honor you in the way that I speak it and the way that I believe you have interpret interpreted it. And I want to honor you, God. So I just pray that your spirit of revelation and truth would speak through me and that somebody would receive this in Jesus' name. Okay, um, so I dreamed that I was fasting and I was hungry. And I had showed up somewhere where they weren't actually serving food, but they opened up for me and handed me food and it was expensive and I remember paying a lot for it and being really upset because it was the size of my palm and it was gross it was slimy it was gross and it was not what I had wanted in fact in my head I remember picturing what real food looked like and being like what is this anyways so I swore in the dream and I said this is BS and I stomped off and I got really offended and upset then I got convicted and came back and I apologized and I said, please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's just so expensive and it wasn't very tasty. And um, anyway, so this person began to hug me and then they started praying in tongues. And I just remember feeling so much love. But then all of a sudden, somebody from behind starts hugging me and squeezing me and squeezing me and squeezing me and praying in tongues and laughing and convulsing. And I turn around and I start rebuking it and commanding whatever that is to leave in Jesus name. And they begin to start coughing up black snakes. And I just remember waking up and being like, what the heck was that? Well anyways, so at first I thought it was about a certain ministry, but then I felt like God was giving me God glasses. I'm going to put on my glasses. These are my God glasses right now, okay? He started helping me see it a little bit clearer. And what I believe God was showing me is the church, okay? So there's black snakes that have gotten into the church. And there are people that are teaching regurgitated food. Like they are regurgitating food, teachings that they have heard, all this stuff. They're serving it up. And they're even charging for it. Expensive food that is regurgitated and it's not tasty at all and people are dissatisfied they want the children's bread they want the true milk of the word they want the meat of the word and they want the true living bread they want what satisfies them and that was me i was pissed off because i didn't like what i had been served and i believe that when we talk about food especially in the spirit it usually has to do with teaching so there was this regurgitated food and you guys, you guys can relate to this. Have you ever like listened to a preacher and they're regurgitating a teaching that they heard and then they heard and it just keeps getting passed down. Even words people will say that just keep getting passed down and it's like regurgitated food and it, and you don't even know where it started with. My sister called this the, the game of telephone. It's like somebody heard from God and then they heard it and then they heard it and then they heard it and then it just becomes this regurgitated mess because people aren't going to the source anymore they're just going to the to the person serving up this thing so anyways we get dissatisfied and we get upset about this right and then we come back and we reconcile but then these black snakes like I feel like when they were coughing up these black snakes in my dream I felt like God was telling me about the kundalini new age witchcraft um, deception and all of this stuff that's gotten its way into the church and into teaching and it's our job to love first of all right to be convicted and to come and to love them because that's what I did is I came back and I loved these people even though they were serving up this nasty stuff but then I got to, to pray deliverance for these people and they got delivered from these black snakes and so in my heart, I believe that God is saying, you can restore these people. You can even help them get delivered if you come back in love. So you need to be convicted on the, air, the like anger and the, um, 
the like judgment and criticism that you've acted in for people that are trying with the best because this person was so loving in my dream they opened up their shop just for me they served me this food and though it was expensive and it was disgusting it was me that responded in that way and I take to, to I mean obviously I'm not doing it now but I I took responsibility and came back and I was like please forgive me that was wrong I responded in hatred I responded in anger I even swore and this person just loved me and I had the opportunity to minister to them and then they got delivered and here's the coolest part the black snakes never touched me in my dream I had authority over it how cool is that that I had authority over the black snakes that it came out of the person they got delivered and it was all because I came back and I loved them and I even repented for my hatred and my anger toward them and my distaste that I felt and so um, this is how I translate that now is we need to repent of all of our hatred and our anger and our judgment that we have given all of these preachers. And we need to understand and love them and help them to um, get back into the real milk of the word. Like help them iron sharp of the word and help them to serve up the good stuff and guys we carry that and so you can come and you can help multiply the bread you can come and say hey look I see what you're serving but I want to bring you because we serve the God of loaves and fishes I want to help multiply this bread and these fishes and I want to help you hey that could also paint a picture of the churches you went to in the past that you delivered people later from yeah and that's another thing in the past I was kind of um, going from tr these churches and God was actually showing me people in these ministries that were that were operating in witchcraft that actually confessed of talking to the dead in secret um, you know necromancy practicing all of this stuff and saying well Jesus loves me so he wants me to talk to my dead husband these were the kinds of things that people were believing and I got to actually help them get set free from that so this was kind of a reflection of some of the stuff that I've already been uh, moving in is God is showing me these black snakes and here's the coolest part is that Paul shook off the snake into the fire and he did not get bit by that thing in fact he didn't even catch any of the diseases or the sickness of the tribes that he was ministering to so um, that's another thing that I'm learning is that as we are ministering to people remember that you just shake off those snakes you shake off that like you're protected, you've got a divine shield around you and nothing by any means shall harm you. And I am learning this so much. The more that I step into this authority, the more I'm understanding nothing by any means shall harm me. And in that dream, I came out unscathed. These black snakes did not touch me. Even when it squeezed me, I was able to come out of the grip and turn around and rebuke that person. Churches that called him mental and then later turned. Oh yeah, there were people that, yeah, Trisha, my sister Trisha is on here. She said, that, then there's churches that called you mental and then later turned, I got to turn around and deliver them. There were people that, um, that didn't know what to think of the kind of zeal that I had and labeled it. And I actually got to deliver, not deliver, but I actually got to pray with them and they got delivered and they experienced that what I was telling them was the truth. So that's what happens when you turn around and love people in their error instead of judging them, criticizing them and responding in anger and hatred. Um, yeah, they were squeezing the life out of me. <laughs> That's a good revelation, Trisha. Yeah, absolutely. And another thing, don't let anyone put a leash on you because that's that same thing that like, sucks the life out of you, sucks the zeal out of you. You don't need to be on a leash. God has called you to be a soaring eagle. Soar, baby soar. I'm telling you, he has made you to soar. You are an eagle. You fly up there and you do what your God calls you to do and don't let anybody put a leash on you. They will say things like, you don't fit in with the prophetic flow or you don't, I've heard it all. I've heard it all and I'm telling you that's another example of 
black snakes. So let God reveal to you what are the black snakes? What are the um, leeches and the snakes and the like scorpions and all of these things that are around you that you can respond in love and help them get delivered? And I feel like this is a message for all of us because this was not just personal for me. This represented all of us. We all have the authority. We all have the keys to the kingdom. If you are a blood-bought, Holy Spirit-filled, born-again Christian who is filled with the Spirit, you have the keys to the kingdom. And you use those keys and you go in and God is going to lead you to all of these different gates and you're going to get more and more different keys. Remember, he didn't just say one key. He said keys. And, and I'm seeing like tons of different keys man like this is so many different keys um so anyways um i just think it's really important for us to understand remember that you are led by the spirit of god and also know that he's your covering he is your covering and so you can operate in the covering of jesus christ and remember that you are not just going alone because three or more go with you so the father son and holy spirit are with you so you're always on a team of four when you go remember that you're never alone you always have a team with you so hallelujah, praise Jesus that we're never alone. You have a covering in him and these black snakes are under your feet. Shake them off in the fire in Jesus name.